Cocking's the surname, and uh, my first name is, is, is Edward, but you can call me Ted. Oh, uh, the, the worst part is failure uh, from day to day to achieve what you think should be uh, achieved in a few days. Um, and, uh, but uh, you have to keep at it, you have to have uh, enthusiasm uh, and you need to uh, keep to the straight and narrow and perhaps uh, the other thing you need to do is not to assume that because somebody else has said something won't work uh, that it really won't work and, and to uh, in a way take no man or woman's word for it that it won't work and so to persevere and to keep clearly uh, your objectives in sight. Well, I, I don't think I regarded it at the time as science. All right? It was more curiosity about how things worked, how a refrigerator worked, how a radio set worked. Um, also in uh, uh, plants in particular, uh, curiosity about things like tomatoes, why they went red. Uh, surprise that uh, when I put green tomatoes in the dark that they went red. Uh, I always associated uh, redness with sunlight. So curiosity about the systems. But uh, of course when one got into uh, uh, um, school at the age of uh, 11 plus uh, then you had uh, uh, classes labelled science and uh, uh, that was always interesting because it was well taught. My current job is devoted to research only at this stage in my career. I've done a lot of teaching and administration uh, but what I enjoy most uh, uh, from day to day is to do research, uh, to work at the bench, to have a small team and to investigate what is now a very challenging topic in the world and that is uh, that the nitrogen fertilizer is used extensively for the uh, cultivation of our major cereals and I've always been fascinated to find out if you could eliminate the use of such chemically produced fertilizers and use biological systems to uh, replace them. And so uh, I started to investigate uh, whether indeed in the case of cereals instead of shoveling on lots and lots of nitrogen fertilizer you could use various naturally occurring microbes, uh, bacteria in this instance, uh, to fix nitrogen. To, that means to reduce the nitrogen in the atmosphere to produce ammonia biologically uh, rather than feeding fixed chemically produced ammonia onto the plant with all the problems of pollution of the environment and cost. Oh, the ultimate uh, goal and excitement would be that uh, you didn't have to add uh, synthetically produced nitrogenous fertilizer to the main cereals of the world. Uh, this would give and not only great personal satisfaction but it would indicate that uh, a, a basic approach in science where at the beginnings you were doing things that you didn't think were going to lead to this objective. You were looking at bacteria entering plant cells, studying how they interacted and uh, the satisfaction would come from being able to carry on from that basic science through to applications. One of the major challenges in the United Kingdom is to achieve a smooth transition from basic research to applied research. There's in a way no such thing as applied research because you, you've got to get the basics to begin with. So wrapping these two things up would give me the greatest satisfaction. Well, uh, I don't think uh, scientists ha have any more difficulty, basically, than, uh, say, uh, uh, my bank manager has in explaining uh, the, uh, all about shares uh, and so on to me. Um, uh, we all are differently gifted in our ability. Scientists uh, are always caught, we're all 
is cautious. We, uh, we, we will always say perhaps and, and uh, uh, we won't be dogmatic about statements as far as possible. So uh, uh, we're a bit unusual in that respect from the normal run of the mill, but that's part of science. Uh, a typical family man with uh, two children, if I can put it like that. Um, uh, but uh, I have interests which are outside of science, uh, uh, and uh, I'm very interested in the uh, neo-Gothic revival um, uh, with, arch uh, with architects such as A.W.N. Pugin, who uh, designed with Barry the Houses of Parliament, um, I'm very interested in uh, the arts and crafts movement, um, uh, which his uh, um, genius uh, stimulated. And uh, so uh, that keeps me pretty busy. And I go around looking at the, uh, with the Pugin Society in England uh, and Scotland, uh, various examples of uh, his, uh, his work. He designed uh, all the wallpaper, all the metal work. He actually designed Big Ben, and what better can you have than that? Uh, so uh, an interest in that sort of thing, uh, particularly. All his work is uh, very much on display uh, close to home here in the city of Nottingham. Um, uh, uh, he designed uh, the uh, Nottingham Cathedral on Derby Road is a magnificent example of his work. Now, there's no such thing as a stereotypical scientist. Um, uh, uh, science is part and an integral part of modern life. A normal looking chap uh, uh, waiting for the bus at the bus stop uh, who fumbles around from time to time, uh, who enjoys uh, what he or she is doing. And I think the best thing for scientists is not to uh, uh, feel in any way that they're isolated uh, 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 from humankind, as it were. We are all part of uh, human activities and human race, and uh, we are enjoying ourselves and relating our subject to our fellow human beings.